hello guys in this video I will show you how to import time series data into use basically there are two ways to Im of importing time series data into use I will show you both step by step I have also mm, uh, make videos on importing cross-sectional and panel data into use the uh, you can watch it on the other videos but first of all don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel okay uh, guys first of all we will go to views and then go to file and then to new uh, and then work file here we will select dated regular frequency because we want to import time series data into views and the data which we want to import is uh, of annual frequency so we will not change this one as well the starting date of uh, the my data is from 1990 uh, and the end date is 2016 we'll click on ok then we will go to quick and then empty group then we will go to uh, Microsoft Excel and copy the data which we want to import we will select the whole data and copy it and then uh, go to views and then we will go to the first row and then paste the data here you can see that uh, my data is from 1990 and uh, to 2016 and the whole data is pasted here it's a group of data you can cancel it uh, yes you can also check the data from here that uh, it's from 1990 to 2016 this is the first method this is the first method which we which I usually prefer now I will show you how to import data the second method of importing time series data into use first of all I will click on file then go to import and then import from file here I will uh, select the folder uh, from which I want to import the data as I want to import the time series data of Austria so I will click on this one and click on open here we have two options the first is the predefined range and the second is the custom range if the predefined range is selected correctly then we will go in this one but if it is not selected correctly then we will uh, go to the custom range as in this case my data start from C2 uh, not from B2 so I will change it to C2 and then I will click on the next the row information shows the name of the variable so we will not change this one as well click on next and then again click on next here basics in bas basic structure we have two type of uh, uh, time series data the first is the data regular frequency and the second is the data specified by date series if we don't have the uh, variable of the years then we will select the dated regular frequency and write the start date of our time uh, of our data set as in this case I have start my starting date is from 1990 so I will write it 1990 here and then uh, I will s uh, click on finish but in this case I have a uh, variable of years so I will go with the second one dated specified by date series and click on finish uh, it says that link import link imported series and alpha objects to external source we don't want this one uh, so we'll click on no as you we can see that from here the whole data is imported the different variables are here and the whole 
uh, data of all variables are imported this is the whole tutorial about uh, importing time series data into eviews uh, this is from here uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel uh, see you next time bye